hi you guys welcome to my channel i am sipo if you are new welcome if you're returning then welcome back um yeah 500 years later i decided to film another video <laughs> But I'm really really happy to be back on YouTube and for those that have been asking Here I am. So when I started or created my channel It was when they first announced that we're going on lockdown and Before then I was feeling so anxious and I was so scared. So I'd make up all these excuses uh, Like I don't have equipment. I'm busy. I don't have time blah 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 So when we first went on lockdown, I realized we were as in this is now or never either i do this thing now or i don't do it at all it was just the perfect timing and my first two videos were up in april and then we went on level four which was um may and that's when i got a call saying i should go back to work so from then i have been so occupied um i was also in the process of like looking for a new place so which is the which is the most frustrating thing ever but eventually i had found a little cute apartment so i'm settled now so i just wanted to like give um an explanation why like it took me like long to actually upload another video um so yeah i will be uploading videos more frequently from now and i'm thinking of also like introducing like vlogs to my channel so look out for that Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, yeah, let's just get on to the video. And I don't like talking too much. <laughs> I don't like talking. Like, that's my thing. And I felt like that intro was like, I don't know, long. <laughs> oh, also, another thing. While I'm sitting here and filming, I just realized how much work this thing is. This is like a job on its own like when i see people doing it i would take it so lightly but now that i am doing it it's just it's a lot it's a lot because i'm using a camera and like the battery runs low whenever it runs low obviously i have to charge to like a sufficient whatever battery life or whatever and then i have to wait for a certain amount of time until i can actually like continue and refill them again so it's 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 um it's so much work you guys so i'm putting up respect to the people that um like have been doing it um um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I, just, I don't even know which side yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video okay you guys so first things first I had just lined up my eyebrows with this makeup revolution liner I won't come closer to the camera because the light will just be too much and it won't detect um, yeah and this is the box it comes in and i had used um the shade dark brown and then for concealing my eyes i just used the regular la girl pro concealer in the color pure beige and i think i need a newer technique of doing my eyebrows because i have been doing them the same way for like decades now and i tried to watch like eyebrow tutorials and i didn't find anything that i like and i see people are doing like um these trendy brows the the lighter ones the the the, the feather brows that's what they call them and i really don't think i'm a fan so yeah and i don't like the two defined side of brows too so yeah i'll just stick to whatever i'm doing right now and yeah we shall see okay let's jump on into eyeshadow and for eyeshadow i'm going to be using this morphe and jaclyn hill palette and i'm showing you guys uh the back because it's a whole lot of mess that's happening on the front side excuse me everything is just messy and then the color i'm going to be going in with would be a color that's lighter a color that's going to match my skin tone which is this brownish color over here um obviously we're going to be doing a bold lip so i don't want anything drastic on the eyes for applying eyeshadow i'm going to be using this brush from from this game you can't even see i don't know how they pronounce the brand but i think it's color color yeah color and this is how the box looks 
yes i don't know if you guys can see but it's written there color yeah, so i'll be using one of those to apply my eyeshadow i'll only use one color and the color that i just showed you guys i'll just apply that all over my eye going in with them like okay, let me just leave it as it is let me not make changes to my plans i might just ruin them okay you guys so after applying eyeshadow i'm going to be going in with applying my lashes and i will do that off camera and the brand is pinky goat and the color am i saying color and the style is fairer yeah Okay, y'all, so this is me with my eyelashes on. I have no idea how I feel about them, so I guess we'll see when the look progresses. Um, and then over here, I was covering my acne scars, and I had used this um, little um, concealing, um, what do you call it? I don't know the brand. I got it at, uh, earlier this year, this beauty event. The, um, beauty revolution event yes that's where i got it and it looks a bit light okay guys so moving into foundation i'm going to be using ram london in what is it match perfection foundation and the color i took is 402 bronze or just bronze i don't know if the number is uh there to uniquely identify the shade but yeah it's 402 bronze and i recently bought this foundation so i pray it matches my skin tone it's not my first time using a Rimmel london um foundation i had used one during my first makeup years i think in high school so me and my friend would go to foshini to test out makeup and all that stuff and this was one product i had my eye on it wasn't specifically this one it was the one with the red lid and it wasn't until my metric year where i could like buy the product and it wasn't a matter of like affording the product it was just um that thing like you can't you can't your parents can't give you money and you go outside to buy things like makeup there's just going to be that question mark so the only time i could actually buy things that i had wanted was during my matric day it was such a good foundation because i remember when i used to use it i would get compliments from the streets like people would literally compliment my skin and that time i was wearing this product i don't know why i had stopped using it over the years but yeah maybe i just wanted to try something new or i don't know i don't know why i stopped using it but this thing ne? when i look at it on the mirror it doesn't look as it appears when i look at myself on the camera <laughs>
shade lighter than my skin tone um and whenever i use it like if i'm using it to like go out i'm gonna mix it with um a darker shade yeah because now i can't go over and apply like it's not gonna so we'll have to um we'll have to like just continue okay so now i'm gonna contour and i'm gonna be using um the maybelline fit me in the shade 365 it doesn't look as bad when i look at the camera oh my god this is dum dum da <laughs> oh, okay contouring right As in, though, my little just saw my name because it's a new Let me blend in that contour. this 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 um concealer is light on its own <laughs> let's just pray that when the products blend together i won't be having this issue banana powder uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that has you done and this cellular because I don't know how this thing is gonna come out with our situation with my situation <sighs> okay this I'm gonna line my under eyes with um, a white liner because this is a liner from essence you guys but because I've been using it everything has just faded so you can't really see what's happening So I'm gonna use um, blush. 
blush and i'll be using this four in one highlighter palette i don't know what brand is this I don't know what's the brand i honestly don't know what's the brand but i got this at discam yeah i think it was on promotions it's one of the products that they put up for promo on that secular thing you know when you walk into the store and you go to the makeup department you'll find these products that this one is like i can't see the brand name it's nameless i don't know I just thought it was cute and yeah I took it so I'm gonna use this this um, wavery colorful as a blush so now what I'm gonna do is I'll line up my lower lash lines with this um, essence i love extreme crazy volume mascara i'm using this because like i wanted to have like that chunkiness effect i love love essence mascaras okay so after putting on mascara i'm gonna be going in with highlights and i'm using the mega glow highlighter and the shade is precious petals I'm gonna set everything together. I'm gonna be using the LA Go Pro Setting Spray. This one over here. Just shake it. Let me just bathe in it. Yeah. After I set my face, I'm gonna use this Essence um, Lip Liner. It's brown. Yeah. This brown lip liner. Okay, so now moving to the purpose of this video, the ultimate. I'm gonna get a drum roll. Right, for lips, I'll be using the Maybelline Super Stay in the color um, 20. Mm, this is a good lip stain you guys this is my absolute absolute favorite uh but it does have a difficulty in like when it comes to removing it because i literally have to apply like two layers of vaseline i apply vaseline and then i wipe it off and then i have to apply another layer of vaseline and that's when it actually like comes off so do bear that in mind but yeah um what do i want to say is it stain or stick like when you're eating or anything of that sort it doesn't come off it literally stays there so yeah okay so because i wanted to have that dry effect i'm going to use a powder over it that dab 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 Okay, you guys let me just juice myself up i'll be back with the finished look okay guys so this is me with the final look i hope you guys enjoy this video please comment like and subscribe and do recommend my channel to others as well i'll see you guys in my next video bye where's my spaghetti Yeah, they are pale. Oh, in the sense of new one.
but which means that i i i i I didn't spend much time in doing this because that's literally the first bottle I opened when yeah when I was halfway through the video so yeah bye bye